Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday, start of a brand new week, and start of probably something pretty interesting on FIFA because it is Upgrade Pack Monday, and I think there's a little bit of a chance that we could have the first player picks of FIFA 23 today because as we're going to take a look last year during the Road to the Knockouts promo, we had 75 plus player picks. Those don't have to be added to the code. There's no knowing if they're going to be dropped, maybe a leak very shortly ahead of time, but those would be massive and that would be a huge, huge piece of content that so many people would be interested in. And last year they were cracked. So we're going to take a look at that today, the potential of just an upgrade SBC, whether it's the 75 plus player pick or, you know, like we had last week during Ones to Watch, a 78 plus upgrade. Some sort of upgrade SBC I think is very possible, if not almost guaranteed. And Team of the Week upgrade base icon, you know, there's still so much that hangs in the balance right now in terms of compensation, in terms of a tweet from EA Sports, but today's a Canadian holiday, so could EA Sports actually have had the whole weekend off? I don't know. We'll talk about that in today's video as well. And of course, discuss the market with the brand new mini release of those four Road to Knockout cards that are out. A lot of people are investing in those. That has me a little bit scared. So we'll talk about that and more in this video today. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about what I mentioned first. Player picks, Nate? Are you serious? Is that actually like potentially content for today? You know, it is. I, I feel like it's not the biggest potential. Some sort of upgrade pack, I would imagine, is dropping today. And like we have seen, the content right now in this game continues to be really good. Yesterday, we had the Benasser SBC, 30,000 coins for a live 84 rated AC Milan card with the potential to upgrade by not just a plus one, but of course, one upgrade would get this guy to an 86. Another one would take him to an 87. This card is like, honestly, kind of like a Tonali box to box replacement for somebody that you maybe had on your team. Really, really good value. And again, that's just another SBC added to the list that has been such good value. And I think that's going to impact the market throughout this week as well. But if EA is continuing this good content kind of push like everything in the last couple days has been pretty good last year during road to the knockouts they also kept that going with a 75 plus player pick sbc and i remember this last year this was a huge catalyst in a lot of that market drop off last year in the middle of october it was during the second week of road to the knockouts i believe maybe in the first but for sure it was in the second week i do remember that and this would be huge. I mean, just think about player picks on FIFA 23 this early in the game. Uh, that'd be incredibly massive. So I do think there's a little bit of a chance that this drops today because the content's been good. If they're going to put on a new upgrade pack SBC, this one would get people excited and would get people on the game. And, you know, also it happened last year. So I think there's potential for it today. But regardless, I do imagine they would re-release like the 78 plus upgrade. Of course, we saw that during Ones to Watch last year and we saw it even last week during Ones to Watch. You know, there's an 80 plus upgrade pack that's in the code. I just, you know, I don't have my high, my hope set too high for a 75 plus player pick. I feel like it's like maybe 50-50. Um, I would really expect just some sort of upgrade pack today because EA, as we know, likes to drop upgrade packs with every single promo nowadays because we like to open the upgrade packs in just about every single promo. So along with a regular upgrade pack today to try to pack some road to the knockout cards, which by the way, who wouldn't want to do some 75 plus player picks to get yourself a, a chance at packing one or multiple of these road to the knockout cards, live upgrading, nice card designs. We now have all of them in packs after the mini release yesterday. So people would see um, upgrade packs as a very good opportunity to pack one or two of these cards. Um, if the pack luck is somewhat decent from them, of course, and if you maybe get a little bit lucky, but besides those upgrade packs, you know, I've been talking about this and mentioning it, but there's really a potential for a team of the week upgrade pack to drop in the game. Foot Sheriff tweeted again that the team of the week upgrade should come this week. I think either today on Monday or maybe tomorrow on Tuesday would be a, a very likely day for that to happen. And actually, if we take a look back at last year, um, in mid to late, actually late October was when the team of the upgrade was first dropped and it was pretty cheap. It was like 12,000 coins and people were like, man, it's not worth it because all team of the weeks are like 10K. But of course, the whole draw of putting a team of the week upgrade out is to get people to try to gamble and to try to pack a player like a Holland, like a Ben Yedder, like a Rafael Leal, Marquinhos, Salah, or from Team of the Week 1, of course, Son, De Bruyne. 
any of those players uh, because we would believe that a Team of the Week pack would include players from previous Team of the Weeks as well, not just the current Team of the Week three. Uh, so maybe that comes this week. Um, as Foot Sheriff said, he ex it should come, right? We don't even know. But I just think what to expect today is some sort of upgrade packs on Monday, right? That's nothing new. That shouldn't be too big of a surprise. The only thing that would be a pretty big surprise is a 75 plus player pick if they were to do that. So again, I, I don't think the likelihood of that's super duper high. But again, like I said, the content has been really, really good. So maybe they're going to keep progressing forward with that content and drop us some pretty good player picks. So if you want to do anything to get ready for that, I would just say stock your club with a couple rares and non-rares. I don't think you need much. I think you need just enough to get by um, and do a couple player picks. I do believe they would require like 11 golds, maybe a few rare. Um, the one last year, actually, let's double check that and see what it required last year. The 75 plus player pick at the very beginning of last year. Actually, just kidding. There's no way it requires that much. Um, number of players in the squad, four, and you have to have all gold players, one rare. So four players in one rare. So yeah, just stock your club with some non-rares, stock your club with a couple of rares. Again, for a 75 plus player pick, yeah, it's got to be pretty cheap because 75 plus in return is your, your low rating guarantee there. You need to make it a pretty cheap SBC. So you can stock the club if you want to go ahead and do that. I've got a lot of stuff in my club uh, from packs opened over the weekend and weekend league rewards and stuff like that. And that's kind of what I want to talk about next is this market and still weekend league rewards of getting paid out today on Monday. What we normally see on Monday is a pretty solid market rise, right? Because people get rewards. They go out, they buy the new promo cards, either they go invest a little bit into them or they just want to go out and try cards out and buy items, right? I'm going to pick up this Foden right here. Oh, I missed it, man. Oh, I'm trying to grab a Foden because I do think that some of these Road to the Knockout cards are going to bounce up in price. And Foden just being 376, boom, I will take that. Center attack in mid with the Hunter. I want to try this guy. And I think some of these Road to the Knockouts can potentially rise up in price this morning on Monday. As, honestly, I think a decent amount of the market. Uh, again, if EA don't do anything today in terms of compensation or in terms of even tweet from EA FIFA Direct about the whole hero situation, Monday mornings on the market usually bring some rising prices as people, again, like I said, they get their rewards, they go out, they have some coins, and they try some cards, and especially this early stage of the game, people are going to get right back on grinding division rivals to get those rewards and to be working on, you know, maintaining those packs that they can get the next set of rewards that will be upcoming, and a lot of these cards have dropped off a little bit. I bought a bombing uh, at the content drop on Sunday, yesterday, live on stream at about 484K, sold him for 530, kind of timed that fluctuation really great. Now he's back down to 480. And again, because people want to try these brand new promo cards, usually you see Mondays after rewards on the weekend, which a lot of the supply ends, but people get coins, they go out, they try some new players and buy some cards. So I've actually picked up a couple of Bremer as well, because, you know, of course he was in the mini release. There's a lot of hype with this Serie yeah. After the Benasser, SBC was released, which again, this SBC is incredible value. 2,900 upvotes, 27,000 coins, really good box to box card. Um, not lengthy or anything like that, right? Explosive, uh, but really good dribbling. And again, you, you give this guy an, one upgrade if he potentially can get one upgrade and he's going to an 86, that'd be a really solid upgrade and he would almost be Hullet Gang besides shooting. So really, really, really nice card. You saw a lot of the AC Milan links rise, like this Rafael Liao, of course, direct correlation with that card right a uh, compliment going from 80,000 coins all the way to seven, to 93,000 coins kind of where he is now i expect that card to keep going up a little bit today um there was another oh uh, tamori our boy Tamori was up a lot as well but i think tamori was increased in price too because of uh, team of the week potential for this next wednesday so that was uh, another reason why you saw his card go up but the Syria links are just kind of hype right now so i picked up a couple of bremer a lot of people are buying Lucas Paqueta and hoping to see him rise up in price today. And, you know, I, I picked up a photo because he's tried and true. And that's a card that I've seen rise a lot over the past couple of days on the weekend as people try him out, even flipped him myself. This car was brand new yesterday as a part of the mini release. Paquette is about 180,000 coins, I believe. His card looks great, right? Five star skills, four star weak foot. But man, I think there are so many people that are investing in this card because, yes, it's hype. 
uh, and a lot of people want to try it so i understand how people would maybe want to invest in this but this guy is getting supplied so much on the market it's crazy so i'm being a little bit careful with paqueta um it seemed like he didn't like nobody would let him go under 168 or 170 thousand coins a lot of people were investing in this card um and he's kind of now sitting in like 180k so i do think there's potential for this card since it is so hype to rise up a bit into today i'm just a little bit worried about the over investment um potential here because so many people were investing in this card and even the same thing with Juan Basaka, although I like Juan Basaka a little bit more because there's just not a lot of right backs that are in the Premier League, especially with halfway decent pace. Again, that's why Kyle Walker, we talked about in last night's video, that's why Kyle Walker is like 150K is because there's no other substitutes for him. Juan Basaka's card is decent. He's not like Kyle Walker. He's explosive. He's not lengthy. He's medium, medium work rates, which, you know, isn't as ideal. Uh, but 91 sprint speed, he, he is a pretty good looking card. Dynamic image. Manchester United English links so you know I think this could be a card that rises up today as well but I kind of went with Bremer like I said because of the Syria hype and just because um I felt like he had less you know like people investing in him at the time and a, a Brazilian center back I mean there's so many people with the Syria links and so many people love this dude's base card uh that I just I just feel like he has a really really good potential of going up a little bit today again if you see cards that are going up in price today any of the road to the knockouts um any gold cards as well i mean i'm not excluding golds out of this as well i mean you think about yesterday on sunday this kunde card went from 69,000 coins all the way to 78k he almost went up 10,000 coins on a nice morning rise we had a little bit of pack supply yesterday so we dropped off just a tiny bit and right now he's about 75,000 coins again that's the type of rise that you maybe see today it's just a nice slow steady rise in the couple of these cards I'm not expecting for cards to absolutely explode today. It should be just a nice rise into the day on uh, Monday. Again, that is unless EA Sports go out and do something like compensation or a tweet from EA FIFA Direct. We have no information still about the whole Foot Heroes thing. Um, and it's, it's very frustrating. And it's, it's interesting that, you know, even today on Monday, guys, today, today is a Canadian holiday. Today is Canadian Thanksgiving. Um, you know, of course, if you're celebrating you know, have a great day, enjoy uh, what, what, the, what the holiday brings. But, you know, that also could mean that EA is not working today and would potentially be an, another reason why we might not get any communication from EA Sports today on Monday. And maybe why we haven't gotten any communication over the entire weekend is because they're on holiday. So that's a very real thing that we have to consider with what's going on and the lack of communication that we have had so far. So we'll see if we see anything today. Some people might be like, Nate, would that mean there's gonna be no content today? I don't think that that would be the case at all because uh, they can schedule content days ahead of time. It used to be in the past where like holidays were, would be like, nah, there's nothing. But um, now, now it seems like they're they just schedule content ahead of time and something will probably come out today on monday i doubt there would be absolutely nothing so i still think the upgrade packs are very very likely to drop today also really quick as well mondays i believe have been days where we have had icon sbcs um i think sundays and either like sunday monday or thursday i feel like those are the common days for icon player sbcs we have the first icon player sbcs leaked vidic and casillas were both uh, leaked yesterday by Foot Sheriff. So it seems kind of crazy early to have some Icon player SBCs. But if we roll back in time, when was the first Icon player SBC that we had last year? I'm looking on uh, Footbin's FIFA 22 SBCs. We had the base Icon upgrade. I think this would have been at the end of October. It was during Rule Breakers. Okay, it was during the first week of November is when we had the first base Icon upgrade. We had Klosa and Alcocha around that same time as well. Also, as I mentioned, and as we've looked at in the code, we do have the hero pack that we of course saw in the store and the base icon pack like uh, as an upgrade, we would assume this is being added to the code for that reason. Last year, we had, like I just looked at, November 8th for the base icon upgrade. The foot hero upgrade was ahead of that. This was released November 1st, the very, very end of of, of October and the beginning of November is when we saw that hero upgrade pack last year. So. I mean, EA do seem to be doing things a little bit faster this year and ahead of time, and especially with how much they're boosting some of these road to the knockout cards like Aubameyang. It seems like they're progressing the power curve pretty fast this year as well. So we're just going to have to see if that continues today. And if EA are going all out, you know, 75 plus player picks, a hero upgrade pack in the next week or two, a base icon upgrade, that'd be crazy. But 
you know, I do think it is potentially possible. But, you know, everything that we're doing on this market right now, um, if you have cards that are in your team with how good the content has been, I mentioned this in the past couple of videos as well. I would just say take it take it a little easy with the market right now because yes again the content's been very good and that usually means that a lot of the market prices are going to end up dipping down because people are doing more SBCs and they're interacting with that great content and instead of buying players when there's you know still gameplay demand out there they're going and doing the SBCs and getting that done and forming their teams around those SBC players so that's why if you see a nice market rise today and you don't want to be in like invested with the cards that are in your club. I, I don't think it's a bad idea at all to sell some players from your team today. Not saying that they could, you know, drop off a ton by the time we get to the end of this week. All I'm really saying is, you know, today and Monday is usually a day where you see the market rise up a bit. If it's going to be a quiet week, Wednesday could be the peak. But again, there's just so much unknown right now with compensation, with, um, you know, multiple forms of compensation. We don't know about what they're going to tweet about with the hero pack, what that's going to cause in the market. Um, and then upgrade packs today so you know that's kind of the safe route if you really really want to do that but i feel like holding teams unless we get a hero or a base icon upgrade uh, i i think holding teams should be decent at least for the next couple of days you shouldn't lose too many coins by the time we get to wednesday if you're just wanting to hold on to your cards and use them in your team now i want to talk about fodder again as well because we've been talking about sbc fodder in the past couple of videos and i'm still here to tell you right now that i think it looks pretty good like i mean 84 rated for 1.7k is not bad and 83s at literally discard uh is not bad either because if this team of the week upgrade pack does drop in the next day or two these 83s even though it'll probably seem pretty dumb to do an upgrade sbc for a team of the week i would assume it would be around the 83 rated mark as it always is i don't know if they'll require any chemistry points because last year i think i clicked on the requirements for the team of the week upgrade and it was uh, an 83 rated squad with 70 chemistry which is so annoying but like this year they have not been requiring chemistry in most of the SBCs. so you know apart from some of the, like the pack SBCs or whatever so i i think that 83s are still a, a big dub and it's not like they're up a lot 84s are up like 100 to 200 coins a card after banasser came out you can see you know they rose a little bit but not too much and even again as we see some supply from weekend league rewards starting to hit as people finishing their games on a sunday night um you see these guys dipping down a little bit lower too so i would say that fodder is definitely not a bad buy by any means right now and maybe even on the higher tier end 85s are up a little bit 86s are up a little bit 88s are not that expensive but what's really going to move the needle on the higher tier fodder is a big hero upgrade or an icon upgrade that would be what it takes to move that sort of fodder i think there's a better opportunity for the lower tier stuff to move especially because a lot of the player sbcs ea has been releasing have been on that lower tier so that's something to watch out for also Making coins on ones to watch cards was incredible this weekend. And I just wanted to point this out and talk about it because um, I know this week we have uh, Champions League and Europa League games that are going to affect these live road to the knockout cards. So if you learned anything this weekend from what has gone on, sell in the hype is the biggest advice that I can give you. Think about guys like Darwin Nunez. If you were watching this guy during the Liverpool Arsenal game, he went all the way to 110,000 coins. Post game, he has gone down back below um, 70,000 coins because, of course, he did score the goal, but they did not win. Uh, you have guys like Anthony who scored a goal as well, and they even won the game. But since there were so many people that had invested in this Anthony card, um, there he, he went. To, he went from like 230k all the way to 280. We were doing watching it live on stream. It was mad fun. And now he's back down to 225. I actually picked two of them up at like 210, sold them at 225 just a second ago for a quick flip, and that's how I had the coins to go and buy Foden. Uh, Lewandowski, um, you know, of course, did not score for Barcelona, so his card price is down a lot. He was like 400k, now he's 335. You know, some of these guys will end up bouncing back. And then, of course, I actually have a Gabriel Jesus right now on my transfer list uh, because Gabriel Jesus is you know a card that is arsenal is on two wins out of three for his upgrade and if arsenal win this upcoming weekend i believe they play against Leeds, which would be a very winnable game for them this gabriel jesus will get upgraded next week to be an 85 rated card to get a plus two because that's a plus one right an inform upgrade plus one so we'd go to an 85 rated card and that'd be a massive upgrade and i think the hype is going to continue to build so i don't mind setting aside a bot one at like 245k 
I don't mind setting that aside because I think that's a card that will rise up in price. I kind of want to try him out as well. Haven't used him yet. I know that his gold card is the exact same stats, but this one looks prettier. So I might give him a shot in Rivals or something like that. Um, and, you know, that's kind of an investment that I would like to watch and kind of follow. But again, keep a close eye on these ones to watch cards because if you watch their movements over the weekend, uh, also, quick note, Dybala is injured. So that's why um, he scored a goal yesterday. And literally, this was a crazy turn of events. So Dybala was up because, you know, Romo was playing decent. He scored a goal, scored a penalty went up to like 170 or 180k for like a quick minute or two and then it, he was injured and the injury seems pretty serious so i would be staying away from this dibala card until you hear detail that maybe his injury is not that serious i hope it's not i would love to see him play at the world cup uh, of course because we're almost a month away from that so you know just that's something to kind of note with that dibala card but um you know Lewandowski is still kind of low um nunez is still pretty low and a lot of these other cards you know, they're just kind of chilling, right? And here's why I would watch Lewandowski as well, because Mane, you know, Dortmund or, uh, drew in like a last minute goal, drew against Bayern over the weekend. So this Mane card went from like 700K all the way down to 500,000 coins. I mean, he wasn't quite 700K, but like, you know, 650. And now this card, just because he's rare, has bounced back up to like 550K, 540. So I think a similar thing could happen with Lewandowski. You've got a Rafinha card in the road to the knockouts. People would expect Lewandowski to be scoring goals during even the midweek. Not that that would upgrade his card. Wow, there's a lot of Lewandowskis. This is overnight at 349K. Let's see if this is a trader. Uh... Okay, only a couple of them are interesting. So, like, my price for this level was like 320. If he if he hit 320, then I was gonna get interested in him. He didn't quite get there, but he's a pretty rare card, and of course, is a goal scoring machine. So, you know, that's a card just like Jesus, where you know Barcelona did get a win. And let me double check: are they on their second win? They are. So. Lewandowski is in the same exact position as Gabriel Jesus is. This is a card that, of course, it went down in value, but it is now uh, one game away from that upgrade, albeit that next game this next weekend is El Clasico. So it's a pretty big game. But, you know, that's just stuff to consider with, the, with these OTW cards. And again, it was just a nice weekend to trade with these guys. I made a decent amount of coins on them, flipping them. And I know some people made bank, right? If you bought an Anthony and he sold when he scored a goal, stuff like that. That is the type of movement I want you to get used to seeing. And, you know, go look at the graphs if you maybe missed out on it and stuff like that. Because there are going to be movements with these Road to the Knockout cards this week, especially for clubs that are maybe on like the bubble, right? Um, You know, I believe that some of these clubs are, are not in first or second place in their group. If it's a club that's maybe in like third or fourth place where right now it's like, man, they got to step up uh, to get an upgrade. And you see them go ahead and like score a goal in a game that they need to win. This is match day four this week. You know, you're going to see some prices rise because of that. So we'll break that down and kind of look into that here pretty soon. Um, as we're monitoring these prices day by day, we'll probably wait until tomorrow and Tuesday to dive into that a little bit more when we have those Champions League games actually on the doorstep but i may i wanted to make sure to talk about that at the end of the video because those ones to watches were really good to make coins on and so are the road to the knockouts as you can see i've been trading with a lot of different stuff and th there's the antony's right there and then again what i have in my transfers right now are the foden a couple bremers the gabriel jesus and just some other stuff i'm listing for lazies but hopefully i mean hey i wouldn't mind if 75 plus player picks came out today because that would be absolutely fire so we'll see if that happens i feel like the potential is kind of there but some sort of upgrade pack for sure today on monday we'll try to pack a couple of these road to the final cards just because you got to take your shot at it right you're never going to pack anything sick if you never open packs so that's the video for today boys if you did enjoy smash a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new see you on the twitch stream today it's been nate's account i'll catch you guys later peace out